Hello, hello, it's Kat here with the October Wraith Rain newsletter telling you what is going to happen this upcoming lovely month of October, which happens to be one of our favorites because it's spooky season. So first, let's get to the business. Facebook live readings and podcasts. Empire of Stars readings will occur on October 17th and 24th. The Dragon's Reign podcast is October 10th and 31st. Well, that's what's on the calendar. Since we are getting ahead again, I have been stuffing the calendar full of Dragon's Reign episodes. So as not to overwhelm you, I won't schedule more than two on the same day, but I've scheduled a lot. So while the general public is on chapter 59 this week, members are on chapter 66. And I've got at least two episodes published per week for members, sometimes like four. So looking ahead a couple weeks, October 15th, we'll see chapter 61 on YouTube, but chapter 71 in the members area. Wraith and I have been working very hard to uphold our promise that members will get 10 to 15 episodes ahead. Not only that, but there will be three extra podcast episodes this month, not of Dragon's Reign, but of Hero, which is a straight up horror story that Wraith wrote, mm, I want to say five years ago. And that will be posted starting sometime in the third week of October, since it's our Halloween surprise. For story and book updates, we would still love a few more reviews for Cinders and Ashes, but we have 44 now, which may be enough for BookBub. If you don't know, if you're not on the BookBub's massive mailing list, it's the holy grail of book promotions. It is also basically the only way we can advertise this amazing series and not lose money because as the Wraith Rain advertiser, it's pretty hard to advertise something that costs three or four bucks. Quickly, we can advertise ourselves out of even a break-even point. So just a little inside baseball for you, knowing how important getting a book bub is for authors, especially authors in kind of a less popular niche like gay romance. As usual, there are four new chapters of Empire of Stars, which is still free to read. These will be on the Wraith Rain calendar. As for our secret project, we really wanted to get it out to alpha testers last month, but it's now another October surprise because when I was wrapping it up for members to alpha test, I found a lot of loose ends and things that we just needed to tune up before we felt fully comfortable sending it out, even though our members are super awesome and forgiving and I don't know, we just couldn't do it. We just can't do less than our best, you know. <laughs> so it is going to come. We're still waiting for just a few last assets and I have to go through it a few more times just to do the best we can. You know, that's the only way we're going to move forward. That's kind of our philosophy. So free stuff. Bodyguard 1 is free from October 1st to the 5th. And then Bodyguard 3 is going to be free from October 15th to the 19th. Bodyguard is an occult gay detective series featuring an ancient cult, a slow burn romance, which is kind of hurt comfort between a detective and the young CEO he protects whose life is in danger from this bloodthirsty and ancient cult. What's cool about the bodyguard is the magical powers. I don't want to spoil it if you haven't read this series. So just know that Wraith worked really hard to make an unusual occult world. And if you do download or borrow, because everything's in Kindle Unlimited, the Bodyguard series, we would love some fresh reviews. They keep a book series moving and shown to people who might be interested. So that's the end of our official business. Now we're on to the member space. Honestly, we didn't do a whole lot this month because of the secret project. And planning for the upcoming 
possible story apocalypse when the serials all end early next year. This is an exaggeration, but not quite. Wraith's serials tend to all end at once, and so we've been doing that and catching up with the podcast episodes, so nothing too exciting. For members, freebie audio codes of Cursed One will happen on October 3rd. As usual, she'll do a blog post, and the first 25 people to claim them in the comments will get them. Oh yeah, and there's one other thing. What do you think about having us either move the live readings to YouTube live or simulcast them on YouTube and Facebook. The technology exists. We haven't tested it. We are trying to find a time to test it with just a short live Q&A. Just because it seems like YouTube live is a way to reach more people. A lot of people have abandoned Facebook for reasons that we think are pretty good, but we have to use it anyway. And so just let us know what you think. We're, we'll probably send an email out about this. Like, do you care if we move the live readings or would you prefer YouTube? Or if we were to set up simulcasting on YouTube and Facebook, would you be more, which one would you be more likely to use? And also, would you prefer to tune in uh, over Twitch? There's that option too. So that's kind of coming up with our technology month. Anyway, see you next month for our update.